Hello everyone, today's story is Simon Sack by Sue Hendra and Paul Lynette, illustrated by Nick East. Will he ever be part of a perfect pair? Published by Holder Children's Books. Simon is extremely stripy. He lives in the sock drawer with all the other socks. It's very cozy in there. Every morning, all the socks in the drawer get very excited. Who will be today? It be today. Then it comes the hand. Ping me, ping me. Everyone waits, holding their breath. Pick us, pick us. No, ping me. We are toasty, and two socks get picked up to go on an adventure. The sparkers go to parties. The Ullis go to park. The smart go to school, and the sporty go for fun. Burn, ready, steady, go! Everyone has a turn. Everyone except Simon. I'm not a smelly sock, and I'm not a holy sock. Why don't I ever have a turn? Because you're odd, said Spuddy. The other Spuddy agrees. Yes, you only got picked if you you are a pair. Oh, I didn't realize I was odd, said Simon. Maybe the Spuddy's right. If only I had a pair. We could skate, we could bounce, we could hula, we could have so much fun," said Simon sadly. "I've got it," said Ted, jumping to his feet. "Pop, I've got a friend, and he's striped just like you, Simon. Come on, he lives in a in the hall. Simon, this is Aponce. Aponce, this is Simon, and everything was going well until in word." Walked Petra. Oh, silly me," said Ted. "I forget they were already a pair. Don't worry, though, Simon. I have another stripy friend." Simon meets Shirley," said Ted hopefully. Shirley was very excited, but Simon was be- a little bit nervous. Nervous. Squeal! I'm not sure about this, Ted," said Simon. "What about?" De- Desmond said, "Ted, but Desmond just stared. He's not very chatty, is he?" said Simon. "No, not really," replied Ted. "We, but we can't keep him now. I have lots of stripy friends. What about Bobby? But I can swim," whispered Su- Simon. "Deborah, the stripy bob, she's very t- tiny. Ted, I might step on her. What about Jeff?" Said Ted, he's very musical. He's very noisy. Harry, to Charlie. Trevor, no way. Well, you be pleased to know I've saved the best until last. Said Ted proudly. Simon, meet Mr. Twinklepaws. No, meow, eek. Simon had had enough. It's no good. Ted, I just need to get used to being an odd sock," he said sadly. But then he heard a voice. It was coming from under the drawers. "Hello!" Simon couldn't believe it. "I found you!" he cried. "We are a pair. We can skate. We can bounce. We can hula. Come on!" said Simon. "Let's go out and play." But Simon had. Other ideas, but Simone had another ideas. Oh, I like, I like going out," said the boys. Betty gave Simon a wave. Simon waved back. "I like playing," said Betty. So they skated and they bounced it and they hula hoop. Everyone had to admit that even though they didn't match, they really did a great pair. And that's the end of the story. And thank you for listening the story again this time. Bye bye.